Hey, this is Ruben Roman. Yep, Big Demonio, Psycho Tribe Chronicles. You know, last week we had uh, Not Hippie Approved Choppers, you know, from Durango, Colorado on the show. And I gotta tell you, man, I love them dudes. Mike and Mike are building some killer rides. So this week is part two from the previous episode. So let's get it started. The other bike started, I knew exactly what I wanted that one to look like, so we bought the frame, brand new, re, you know, made frame yeah. to fit the style of the bike, and we bought the springer, and then we started, you know, putting out the motor and the tranny and all that kind of evolved. Oh. Rear fender, you know, light, all that evolved, but I knew with that one I was really going for like the iconic 70s time. Yeah. Like you nailed it, man. Like goal. I said, that bike is sick. So this one is started yeah, we... with a Paco frame. It's up six and out three with 45 degree rake in the neck. Um, it's got a mixed 20, mixed chop shop 20 over springer on it with a 21 front wheel. Went with the old retro repop headlight. Uh, Pandora, Pangea speed bars, pullbacks. Um, the motor is an 80, 1980, 80 cubic inch shovel head motor. It's in Delcron cases. It's got a SNS Super E on it. It's got a little bit of cam in it. Not stock, but not crazy hopped up. Um, we pulled the rocker boxes in the cam cover off and had it powder coated to match the frame. This one, we made everything. We touched every single thing on this bike. We made, we modified the oil tank. Um, Master Vandal Customs right here fucking crushed it. Scooped the oil tank. We took a Wassel tank, same as that one, but stretched it three inches to fit the backbone better. And then um, I made all the forward controls out of all the round bar, all the linkage, all the motor mount stuff, fender mount, sissy bar. Uh, Mike made all the exhaust, crushed it on the exhaust again. Um, another Sportster 18 inch rear, that's a 67 iron head rear wheel, high shouldered aluminum, flipped around again. Um, 65 pan head ratchet top with a three inch uh, Revo, Revo uh, belt drive. Um, so I designed the foot pegs and the shifter knobs and then we had a machinist friend of ours help us out and make them because I was killing my poor little lathe trying to turn that stainless steel on it. Um, seat was the same guy um, up here in Durango. Um, Found some cool leather that he had laying around. Um, Sparto rear tail light. Um, we got the cool little aluminum tips for the exhaust and put those in, powder coated to match. Um, paint again, Jesse, born to run customs on Instagram. Um, what else? He's decided to build another bike and see where we go with it, build it to sell, and, um, you know, we both want to keep it, but we, we built it to sell, so now yeah. that's have, where it is. We have other ones, so now we need to sell one. <laughs> <laughs> the next one. Unfortunately, the pockets aren't as deep as I wish they were. It's the fabrication part I'm better at, and Mike is, in two bikes, is blowing me away and how far he's come. Um, and the mechanic part has always been Mike's uh, strong point. So we just kind of, you know, in the beginning of this bike, the new bike, 
we just like, okay, this project's yours, this project's yours. Um, you know, I jumped right into the gas tank. I was like, I've never chopped a gas tank up, and I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll try it. So let's see how, <laughs> let's see how it comes out. And so that that the crane color, the long bike, started as um, I wanted to try to do a people's champ. Uh -huh. So I applied for the thing, and we didn't get in, and. Um, we were like, fuck it, let's build it anyway and take it to Born Free. So we started our own race against the clock. We built that bike in three months. Oh my gosh. With full time working, jobs. Working yeah. full, time, full time jobs. And I had my kids every other week. So we worked every Where other week. Where did you week. guys sleep, dude? And yeah, every it was other week. Was we push. worked till 11 or later at night from after work. Right. And every weekend we worked on the bike and and got it done yep we, we got it literally yeah. i was fucking with the clutch mm -hmm. 10 minutes before it went on the trailer mm -hmm. in the barn for to the to the show yeah. so if you're on a schedule and you need a bike these are the guys <laughs> man <laughs> yeah. 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 no guys. no more <laughs> three month builds yeah. please yeah. Yeah. so the premise of the show is every biker's got a story man and i, I know you guys probably got one so go ahead lay it on me all right <laughs> so I have a little story, it's just a little bit of humor. We were down at um, Chop Town Camp Around. Mm -hmm. You familiar with that? Yeah. So me and the guy I went down with and his girlfriend, we decided, well, we got there and there was just a bar. No one had beer, so we're like, we need to make a beer room. So, okay, we jump on our bikes, we collect money from like seven other people. We ride to the liquor store and we just pile beer. I, Got shit strapped to my bike. <laughs> He's got his saddlebags full of beer and ice. His girlfriend has 230 pounds on her knees. <laughs> and we're riding down the road and I'm laughing my ass off looking at Megan with 230 packs <laughs> and beer strapped to his bike and ice is hanging out. <laughs> yeah, the and ice. I'm like, holy shit, I need a picture of this. So I ride up next to him and I pull my phone out. And I'm cruising like on the yellow line, like taking, trying to take a picture. I'm getting photos of them. And my buddy goes like this and he points. And I look up and right as I'm like on the yellow line taking a picture and she's got two 30 packs. Here comes a sheriff. Right oh, down the line. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And he's just like fucking hits his lights and like points at us. And <laughs> I like got back in my lane and we like oh, high tailed it back to the <laughs> town. Hey man, I want to thank you guys for watching Cycle Tribe Chronicles. Make sure you check out Not Hippie Approved Choppers. Again, these bikes are beautiful, man. Beautiful. Thank you all. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Hey, this is really cool, man. So after I got done shooting an episode of uh, Cycle Tribe Chronicles, man, I ran over to Durango Harley Davidson and I ran into this hog group. And they were all the way from France, man. So uh, I broke out the camera and I thought I'd talk to them. Really cool, man. Just to think, you know, all around the world you got cats riding. And uh, I got to talk to some from France and that was pretty awesome. So check it out.
Bonjour. Vous montrez votre gilet dans le dos. Hello. Hello. We are from here. <rire> nice. Bonjour les amis. So where do you where you where you guys go and where you guys headed? Uh, we come from Denver and we make a tour to Las Vegas, oh, nice. Yellowstone, Sturgis and back to Denver. Oh, super cool. Three weeks. Nice. With seven bikes, all those guys, and nice. the truck for the luggage. Nice, <laughs> nice. And did you guys rent your bikes out here? We rent the bike in Denver. Oh, nice, yeah. nice. And, that is uh, really great. We are from Limoges, it's a little town in the center of France. Oh, great! France. <laughs> that is so awesome, you guys. All right, all you guys say hey. Say hello. 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 hello.